Good morning everyone. I am thrilled to be here today to guide you through the captivating world of computer hardware components. By the way, I am Michael Vincent Jonas Leda, your demo teacher for today's lesson. But before we embark on this exciting journey, first, let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Anna, can you lead a prayer? Gracious God, as we gather here for our class discussion, we invite your presence to be with us. Open our minds to new ideas, diverse perspectives, and thoughtful dialogue. Grant us the ability to listen attentively, speak respectfully, and learn from one another. May this discussion be enlightening, engaging, and beneficial to all. Amen. And now, let us check your attendance. Very good. Everyone are present. And now, let's have an exercise. I will show you some pictures and guess what those pictures are. Yes, Adam. Motherboard, sir. Very good. Yes, Anna. CPU or central processing unit, sir. Very good. Yes, Ellie. Graphics card, sir. Very good, everyone. I hope you are all excited as I am embarked on the fascinating journey into the realm of technology. Today, we will dive into the world of computer hardware components, exploring the intricate pieces that makes our computers come alive. As technology continues to evolve at a rapid pace, it is crucial to understand the foundations that underpin its functionality. By delving into computer hardware components, we will gain deeper comprehension of how those incredible machines work enabling us to make informed decisions and embark on exciting future endeavors. Now, let's take a moment to go over the objectives for today's lesson. By the end of the lesson, the students are expected to 1. Identify and describe the basic hardware components of a computer. 2. Differentiate the use of computer hardware components. 3. Illustrate the kinds of computer hardware components. With these objectives in mind, our journey into captivating world of computer hardware components begin. Throughout our session, we will engage in interactive discussions, hands-on activities, and visual aids to enhance your learning experience and make the concepts came alive. Remember, Questions and active participation are highly encouraged. Let's embrace the opportunity to learn together, share knowledge, and cultivate our passion for technology. Are you ready to dig into the complicated world of computer hardware components? Let's begin our exciting adventure and explore the building blocks that shape our digital lives. But first, let's have a short activity. In your one-fourth sheet of paper, identify the computer hardware components. Choose your answer in the box provided. Today, we embark on a journey to unravel the mysteries and demystify the realm of Computer Hardware Components Computer hardware components are essential gears that drive the digital age, enabling us to unleash our creativity, connect with the world, and accomplish incredible feats. What is computer hardware? Computer hardware refers to the physical components that makes a computer system. These components include devices such as the central processing unit, CPU, random access memory, RAM, hard disk drive, HDD, motherboard, power supply unit, graphics processing unit, GPU, and other devices such as keyboards, mouse, 
monitor and printer. Let's start with the brain of the computer. Can you read it, Anna? CPU, central processing unit. A CPU, or central processing unit, is a critical component of a computer system responsible for executing instructions and performing calculations. It retrieves instructions and data from memory and decodes them to perform the necessary calculations or operations. The CPU is composed of several subcomponents, such as the control unit, ALU, and registers. The control unit coordinates the instruction execution, while the ALU performs mathematical and logical operations. Registers are small storage locations within the CPU used to hold temporary data. Examples of CPUs include the Intel Core Wine 7, AMD Ryzen, and Qualcomm. In other words, think of the CPU as the conductor of an orchestra, directing and coordinating all the other parts. It performs calculation, execute instructions, and make the magic happen. Next, we have the memory. Okay, Adam, can you read the paragraph? Random access memory, RAM, is a type of computer memory that temporarily stores data and program instructions while a computer is running. Its function is to provide quick access to frequently needed data and instructions without having to access them from the slower hard drive. RAM is volatile memory, meaning its contents are lost when the computer is turned off or restarted. Modern computers use DDR4 RAM, which is available in different capacities and speeds, while earlier models used DDR3, DDR2, and DDR. As more programs are opened, additional RAM is required to accommodate the extra data and instructions, which affects the computer's overall performance. In other words, RAM is like a vast library. It stores the and receive information quickly, allowing the computer to access data it needs to work with. It's similar to how you use your brain to recall facts and figures when needed. Next, the hard drive or solid state drive, SSD. Can you read the paragraph, Miss Ellie? Hard drive. A hard drive is a computer storage device that uses spinning disks to store and retrieve data. Its function is to provide long-term storage for data and programs. There are two main types of hard drives, traditional HDDs and faster but more expensive SSDs. HDDs have larger storage capacities, making them better suited for storing large amounts of data, while SSDs are faster but have smaller storage capacities. Examples of hard drives include Seagate Barracuda and Samsung 970 EVO for HDDs and SSDs, respectively. In other words, the hard drive or solid-state drive SSD is like a gigantic storage room. It holds all the files, uh, program, and digital treasures. It's where you can save your photos, videos, and games to enjoy later. Next, the backbone of the computer, the motherboard. Anna, can you read the paragraph? Motherboard. The motherboard is a computer's primary printed circuit board that connects all of the major components together. Its components include the CPU socket, RAM slots, expansion slots, input-output ports, and chipset. The motherboard serves as a platform for these components to communicate with each other. Examples of popular motherboards include Asus, Raj, Maximus Thopwind, Hero, MSI MPG-Z, 490 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi, and Gigabyte B450 AORSM, all of which are frequently used by PC enthusiasts and gamers. In other words, the motherboard is the backbone of the computer connecting all the different parts and ensuring they can communicate with each other. It's like a city intricate network of roads and highways, enabling smooth traffic flows and efficient transportation. Next, the graphics card. Adam, can you read a paragraph? A graphics card, or GPU, is a critical component in a computer that handles visual processing. 
It renders images, videos, and 3D graphics and is crucial for tasks like gaming and multimedia editing. Examples include the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT, GTX 1660T, and RX 5500 XT. Choosing a graphics card involves considering usage, budget, compatibility, and desired performance. Stay informed about the latest models as technology evolves. In other words, graphics cards are responsible for creating stunning visuals, just like an artist brush paints beautiful pictures. They handle complex graphics and make video games. Movies and visual effects come alive in your screen. Lastly, we have the power supply. Ellie, can you read the paragraph? A computer power supply is a device that converts electrical power from a wall outlet into the appropriate form to power the components of a computer. It supplies power to the motherboard, processor, graphics card, storage devices, and peripherals. Examples of computer power supply models include the Corsair RM750X, EVGA Supernova 850G3, Seasonic Focus GX650, Thermaltake Tough Power GF1750W, and Cooler Master MWE Gold 650W. Factors to consider when choosing a power supply include wattage, efficiency, reliability. In other words, power supply is like the heart that keeps everything running. It provides the necessary electrical energy to the components, ensuring they, can, they have power they needed to function. And this is the end of our discussion. So class, any question about our topic? So now, I want you to group yourselves into five groups. In your group, illustrate or draw just one computer hardware components. Explain their importance. I will give you 10 minutes after that, present your output in the class. For your assessment, in one half sheet of paper, define and explain the different uses of each computer hardware components. For your assignment, in one half sheet of paper, search for the basic troubleshooting techniques for computer hardware and software issues. So this is the end of our class. Goodbye everyone, thank you for watching.